Getting now into the topics that we have for this show. The first topic that we wanted to talk about involves a man that is underrated, but also not underrated at the same time. He's a man that, what I mean by that is he's loved and appreciated and people know how good he is, but also at the same time, like people don't give him the same amount of love that they should be giving him. And that is Russell Wilson, the quarterback of the Seattle Seahawks. Every single year, he is top three in the MVP conversation. Top three, top five, but he's in the conversation. Never won the award. Never won it. So could 2020 be the year that Russell Wilson wins that award? And the reason I bring it up is because of the performance that he had against the Atlanta Falcons in week one. Don't believe me? Let's read his stats. 31 of 35 completing his passes. By the way, before I move on to his touchdowns and his yards, 31 of 35, if you watch that game, those four incompletions that he had, three of them were dropped passes. Could have been higher than 88.6% completed, which is remarkable had his receivers caught those passes. So 31 of 35 is the final stat for week one. 322 passing yards, four passing touchdowns. These are video game numbers. This is incredible. I I know that Atlanta Falcons, hey, trust me, I'm a Falcons fan. So I know, if anyone knows how not so good the secondary can be and how much of a letdown it can be to a fan base, trust me, like I've been through it all. But still though, Wilson had a good MVP-like performance in week one, and this should continue throughout the duration of the 2020 season. And the reason I say it should be continuing throughout the next 15 games is because since he got drafted in 2012, the first two or three weeks of that season, I saw him play and I thought to myself, man, this is a guy that I cannot predict ever failing in the NFL. Granted, to an extent, there's little things right there like him throwing an interception at the one-yard line in Super Bowl 49 or him throwing some interceptions uh, throughout the duration of the season. But, I mean, those are little things. We're talking about the broad perspective of things. Russell Wilson is a guy that you cannot see failing in the NFL, being consistent week in and week out. And so far, he has been proving that uh, for the last eight or nine seasons that he's been playing in the NFL. So those four touchdowns that he threw in – Week one puts him on pace, ladies and gentlemen, for 64 passing touchdowns for the 2020 season. Probably not going to happen, but it's something to take note of. Some guy that I can compare Russell Wilson to, if you want to talk about movies or film, if you guys are into that, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is a guy that comes to mind because Leo DiCaprio, for so many years, never won an Oscar. And then finally, he came out with The Revenant, which wasn't his best performance, dare I say, but he won an Oscar that year just because the people that were voting for those Oscars said, hey, we never gave this guy an Oscar and he deserved it in previous years. Let's just go ahead and give him one right now. Could we see the same thing happen in 2020 with MVP voters with Russell Wilson? Maybe he's not going to be top or the best player in the NFL. Uh, Maybe it's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Maybe it's going to be Lamar Jackson. Uh, Some guys that I predict to be in the running for MVP could be uh, Kyler Murray, maybe even Chase Young, Christian McCaffrey, Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson in that conversation as well. So maybe uh, one of those guys besides Russell Wilson ends up being that MVP or being the top player But even if they are the top player in the clear-cut MVP, I do feel like some bias is going to come in. And some people are going to have that conversation like, Russell Wilson, man, this is his time. This is his time. Let's just give him the MVP. Let's just vote for him. And I feel like that's going to happen. And not saying that that he's not deserving of it. He absolutely is. But that could be the same case, you know, with Leo DiCaprio and the Oscars, Russell Wilson and the MVP. So definitely interact with us and leave your thoughts and your comments down below. Like, what are your thoughts on Russell Wilson being the MVP in 2020? Because Seahawks, every year, they're good. Every year, they got a playoff spot. 
And Russell Wilson every year proves that he is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL in his 30s now and still consistently being as good as he was. May not, or dare I even say, even better than he was uh, in previous seasons. So Russell Wilson, MVP, not out of the equation.